What's going on guys, Spartan Willie here and welcome to episode 12 in season 2 of our Rebuilding Fire Motorsport Manager F1 2020 mod series with the iconic Silverstone Grand Prix. Okay, so yeah, Silverstone today, top speed, we got it. Medium speed corners, we've improved slightly, still, behind, still fourth. And high speed corners, second on grid. So we could be in for a decent race. Hopefully we'll be challenging Mercedes at least. Um, because Red Bull are beating us in the high speed corners. So we'll see. Maybe it could be a decent race. Maybe we'll have a terrible one. But it's in three days. So we're about to find out. Really quick turnaround like usual. Well, not like usual. But every now and then we get a three day turnaround. Um, so yeah. What are we working on reliability wise? The suspension. Which I think is important. Yeah. So that suspension will be useful to t today. Um, obviously we're building the front wing for Hungaro ring, which is exciting. Hopefully we can have a good race there. We need to start doing well at that track because we race it at 25% of the calendar, it feels like. But here we go, a double points vote that we requested. Um, I guess it's my vote, so we'll vote for it. I don't really care, to be honest. I just want to pick a vote. So we'll just go yes, and whatever happens, happens. Uh, it's not looking good, boys. No, nah, it's not going to go through, but it was worth a shot. I think it could have been interesting. Doesn't really matter, but it's fine. Continuing on here, travel to Silverstone. So that is obviously the quick turnaround that we were, asking, we were expecting. Um, in terms of what we're going to work with, that suspension's got a lot of room for improvement. So let's work on that and hopefully we can get that up a bit. Look at that, 1429. I'm going to make another one of those. But um, yeah, that's funny. We've got a mechanic called Ricardo and a drive called Ricardo. Don't get too mixed up. So, I will see you for qualifying three in the iconic Silverstone GP. Okay, so that is Q2 all wrapped up here at Silverstone. And just a little something a bit funny here. Sergio Perez actually injured himself playing tennis. So, I don't know how on earth he's done that, but it's affecting his driving. Uh, maybe he rolled his ankle or something and he can't push in the brake hard enough. I don't know. But a pretty routine to a certain extent. Daniel Ricciardo, fine. Leclerc, I have been battling with this guy's setup the whole weekend. His setup has been an absolute nightmare. Um, but I will legit show you how many runs we've gone on. But because it's only a 120 lap around here, we can probably go on three runs. We're still going to have to be quite punctual at the time. So as soon as Ricciardo leaves the pit lane, we'll send out Ric uh, Leclerc. And look at all the bloody times I've had to send him out. We've uh, occasionally just gone up like 90, 92, 93, 94, 96, 97. Finally got it. Can't quite get the handling, but literally I'm happy with that. It's just so um, finicky this weekend, which I don't know why, but it's fine. Most of the running was in Q1 where we just used the same set of tires. It was basically like an extension of practice, so it really did not matter. But hopefully we can have a decent weekend here in Silverstone. I feel like we do have a bit of pace. Ricardo has got was close to Hamilton of a step for a little bit, but then they smashed past him. See, there's only uh, a tenth off, which ain't bad, and the close only half a second off. That's not bad at all. But hopefully, we can have a good one. And we're going to go another run. We might be pushing it for that third run, but we can hope for the best as soon as Ricardo goes out of the pit lane. Send out Charles. Out we go. All right. So, yeah, like I said last episode, we've got to sort of work on the car and I'm really happy hope this front wing is going to be sick I think it will be it's going to be probably almost a hundred better than the next front wing so that should really help this season and get us close to that title because um, you know another 22 episodes doesn't sound too ideal especially if you have a really good car it'll probably be pretty boring to watch us winning every race but I guess that's no guarantee either if we keep working on this year's car but hopefully we can win it this year that is the goal and then we can rebuild for our own two seasons. I mean, we can try and defend the title if we want, but once you're sort of on top of motorsport manager, it's kind of easy to stay on top because you've got such an advantage. Like real motorsport, I look at Mercedes, you're already so far ahead of the game and you can keep moving forward. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go at the end of this season, where we're at with the series. But with three tenths off with Ricardo and Leclerc is way off. Terrible qualifying from, uh, from Leclerc is in bad little run of form. Obviously, our drivers sort of go, have their ups and downs throughout the season, but Leclerc is in a down behind both McLarens, which is terrible. Um, we're going to have words with, Le with Charles today, I think. But anyway, we move on. Hopefully, Le Ricardo gets a good start and he can get to the top of that grid. We're going to go race stream super soft. You know the drill. Confirm. Cast it up. It's fine. Attack. Overtake. Overtake. Attack. Start race. Come on, boys. 
Third place in the grid. Lewis Hamilton gets pole, so the Mercedes must be fast this weekend. Oof. Come on, we need a slingshot start from Ricardo. It's a decent start. Faster than fourth, faster than second. And the Rebels are behind us now. Leclerc drops back to 10th. We don't care about Leclerc right now. He sort of annoyed me. But Hamilton gets an absolutely storming start. What a freak. And Leclerc drops down to 13th. Oh, my days. He was so bad, Leclerc. Signs is up in third here. I'm going to jump back into neutral here. Beautifully done. En uh, the engine. The tyres are reaching optimal temperature. And Leclerc is still fighting down in 12th. It's, it's hurting my head a little bit. But we're going to go with Ricardo here. Hopefully Sainz can keep back stroll for a bit because look, if Leclerc was up here, we'd be in really good points right now. But the Rebels had a tough start as well. So hopefully Sainz can keep back the racing point and the racing point keeps behind the Rebel. So we can look to pull away in this race before the Rebels sort of catch up and start challenging us. But the tyres keep them in temp. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a, a miserable race for keeping the tyres in temperature. Very upsy downsies. And Leclerc... It's really annoying me. He's blaming the car now. The car is fine, mate. Come on, man. Pull your head in. You're just not good or something. I don't know. You were good before. But Leclerc is not having a good race. He's back in 8th now, so he should be right. You see, you shouldn't be struggling to overtake Vettel. McLaren are nowhere near us. They're down in 5th. Like, it's, it's... We make their entire points total in two weekends sometimes. So we got to really... Just be glazing past him. But it's alright. Seventh now. He's sort of recovered. Uh, Albon's having an absolute shocker. But Hamilton's out in front. We've still got science behind, which is good. It means Ricardo's pretty much guaranteed a podium now. Uh, touch wood. My desk man out of wood, so that's alright. Leclerc's in front of Vettel, and he's coming up to Stroll here, who's on the softs, not the super softs. So what's the pitch strategy here? Is it just a one stop? Uh, yeah, definitely a one stop. Definitely a one stop. Easy done. So we're going to tell him to cool, cool the jets a bit on the, ten, uh, the fuel so we can try and get to the end of this race with a fuel. That is definitely the uh, uh, the goal. Chuck it back in neutral as the tyres look to underheat. We're, going to, we're running on board with Leclerc here. He's sort of in no man's land, which is a bit disappointing. We should be making gains on that racing point who's two seconds down the road for sure. I mean, that racing point has got good suspension, to be fair. I think, I think it's above us in suspension. It's above us in something. I remember seeing it. Uh, but once we improve that suspension to 1410 or something, it'll be it'll be pushing top of the grid. I can guarantee that. When you're in the 14s uh, in performance, like the number, you are pushing the top of the grid. So when we're almost in the 15s with our front wing, when this front wing's done, it'll just be ridiculous. I'm hoping, and we can just smash every every car at the race, especially at that race where we race so many times a year. But this race, we're in a good spot right now. We could be making gains on Red Bull. Yes, we are. Beautifully done. Mercedes, though, are looking good. But we know Mercedes are very dodgy. They can go on, like, five weekends and not be too well. Well, we're pretty consistent. We pick up consistent points. Red Bull look like they're struggling at this track. Why can't we race at this track every year, every week? But Verstappen has finally overtaken Sainz, and Sainz drops back to behind. The oh, no, it's because he's pitted. So he could still be in a net P3 um, bar pit stops, but... Do we box now? Yeah, I think we box now. We're going to cover off the undercut from Verstappen. Look to repair the engine a little bit. Repair everything, actually. Why not? It's free. Why not? Pit? You'd be silly not to. We'll come out in second. Hopefully, we will. And we're going to pit. Oh, I should have checked rain. No, we're fine. There's just been no rain. I even forget to check it. It's been about six weekends, but I'm pretty sure Hungara Ring's got a bit of rain in it next time out. So, hopefully, we can work that in our favour, that would be ideal wouldn't it? But here we go Ricardo, mistake on the suspension repairing it, a 7 second, 8 second mistake what on earth <sighs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine we're, we're just not going to get Hamilton which is surprise, surprise, but we've just lost a massive gap, That all that time we spent keeping signs behind us it's just been wasted but oh well, it's happened, it happens, it happens. What can you do? What can you do? And we've pushed these tyres way too hot out of the pits. We're going to tell them to conserve. Ah, it's, it's annoying. It really is annoying because it's meant to be free. But I guess if they make a mistake, I didn't quite factor that in, did I? I've done it that many times and it's been fine. But the one time I do it and I'm in a good position, it will make a mistake. That's how it works. But 
What can you do? Ricardo is still out in front. Hopefully he can keep it now. We've done a pretty good job of keeping Verstappen behind us all season once we're in front, but, you know, we're also pretty good at not making pit, uh, mistakes in the pit box. But anyway, we move on. Leclerc is really struggling in eighth. It hurts me to look at him. I'm just managing his tyres. He's battling with Sergio Perez. Beautifully done. Good job, mate. Tell him to calm down on the fuel, both of them. And Verstappen is encroaching on Ricardo every single lap. Perez runs wide. So he's now out of contention for that 7th place, and we get more points. Renault not having a good weekend there on a round 100. Alonso and Alcon must be struggling this weekend. Can serve with Ricardo, who is doing absolute bits, despite a pit, a pit crew mistake, but, you know, everyone makes mistakes, it's fine. We'll just sack the guy who made it. 8 seconds is a lot. Carlos Sainz has crashed out. The clerk gets a free spot. Beautiful. I mean, I hope he's alright, but, you know, we'll take it. That's for damn sure. So that means we are one point behind Red Bull, but Verstappen is in the rearview mirrors of Ricardo here, which is scaring me a lot. We, have, we actually haven't had a crash out in a while, I feel like. I feel like this last five races have been really chill. Really chill. It's just been all about uh, pit strategy and on-track pace. But speaking of on-track pace, how fast is bloody Lewis Hamilton today? It's like the old Lewis. He had a bit of... Um, he struggled a bit this season, but I'm pretty sure it's the top of the... No, he's not. Verstappen stop of the Drivers' Championship. So hopefully, Ricardo can make up some ground. But I don't think we'll be anywhere near the Drivers' Championship this year. It's because we're so consistent. Both teams are not consistent. Uh, yeah, consistent. But both cars have got a bit of pace in them. Like, there's a massive gap between Verstappen and Albon and Hamilton and Bottas. So that's why we are so good. Because both cars are somewhat performing. Not lately. Leclerc's been a bit behind the eight ball, but he's recovered it. A bit of a good recovery drive from him from 13th on the grid or whatever he was to 6th is not bad at all. Helped by a science crash out. But the racing points look decent this weekend, but he's still got a pit. So we will inherit P5 as well. So that's another pit stop in that. Those tyres won't make to the end of the race on a good stroll there. Unless he's really gentle on them, but I doubt it. I mean, we should be able to get him. He's only a second up the road. And safety car out. Okay, is anyone near the pit lane? Obviously, that's a free pit stop, so we will take that with the super sauce. Not going to repair a bloody thing after what happened last time. And you have to take it, but Ricardo will not be taking it because he's past the pit lane. But hopefully, Leclerc won't lose any positions. Oh, it's going to be annoying because Ricardo sort of had a good gap on Verstappen, but we'll cope with it. We'll cope with it. Leclerc's going to come in. I don't think we're going to bring in Ricardo because it's. We'll judge the gap. We'll judge the gap. If Verstappen is Verstappen coming in, no, Verstappen isn't coming in. So we're going to take track position over fresh tyres. I think. All right, this is this is sliding doors moment right here. Oh, I hope he's got better tyres. Look, Ricardo's only just pitted. Oh, this is tough. This is the decision. No, we're pitting. It it helps every time when you pit. You're silly not to pit under the safety car. It's a free pit stop. Hopefully, we don't lose any more than one position. Obviously, Verstappen will go past. But yeah, we're going to come right behind Verstappen. And we've got the ERS power. But we'll be fine. I'm happy with that decision. we still got to bunch up. We've got so much fuel. Fresh super softs. I mean, there's only four laps. But hopefully, we can get them right off the go. You know what I mean? As we come in behind second. As someone in front of us pits. No. No, no. We're in third. I was reading Verstappen's number. So, Hamilton's out there. So, first place is pretty much gone. Because the lap cars are in the way, I believe. So, Hamilton out there? Yeah. So hopefully we can get a good start here. As the safety car is heading into the garage, I'm a bit nervous now. We've given up track position, but only a couple of meters because we would have been in front of Verstappen, obviously. Um, are people switching yet? No, not yet. It's about to leave the pit. Bit. Oh, it's just time to attack nice and early. Why not? I can't hurt anyone, surely. Here we go. Safety car restart. And yes, there it is, Danny Rick. Beautifully done, mate. Smoke Verstappen. Hopefully Leclerc gets a good run on Bottas there. Verstappen staying behind. Come on Leclerc. you got to get Bottas there. You're on the fresh softs on the full engine mode. You've got to do something. This is a sliding doors moment for our season. We need to do something with this. And Ricardo goes purple in the middle sector. Beautifully done, mate. Beautifully done. And this safety car might have been decent for us if Leclerc can pick up his game a little bit. But we're off here. It doesn't look like Leclerc will get past Bottas, but that's alright. And Hamilton goes purple on old softs. And Verstappen is still coming at Ricardo, but that was always going to happen. And now at least Ricardo's got fresher softs now. 
He was always going to fight it. Oh, I'm finished. That was it. That's end of the race. Unable to get Bottas there with the clear, but that's all right. We sort of did nothing in the safety car. I think we got past Stroll, actually. I think we got Stroll. Were we sixth? I don't know. But a good race. I'm actually really happy with that race. Again, second behind Verstappen. I oh, know, behind Hamilton this time. Don't regret the pit stop at all. So, that's good. I think we actually did beat Stroll in the pit stop. I think we actually beat him in the pits, which is amazing. It's so good to have a pit crew like that. But, oh, is that a... What? <gasps> Lewis Hamilton was found cheating, and we take the race win. What on earth? A cheating Mercedes? That is the first time this see the series. Unreal. Strip his fastest lap from him as well. He's cheating. Just take away his race win. I mean, take away his points. But we win the Silverstone Grand Prix in the most bizarre circumstances. I do not regret that. It's pissed up at all now. And our boys are in first and fourth. Oh, come on. Drop him down one more. Get Leclerc on the podium. He doesn't deserve a podium. He cheated. Now, they, they should have been completely disqualified, in my opinion. But anyway, we'll take it. A free race win. And Mercedes have had an absolute stinker there, trying to cheat. And Daniel Ricciardo goes second. And we go top of the championship with... A decent cap of seven points. That's completely taken me by surprise. We win the Silverstone Grand Prix in the most bizarre circumstances ever. But man, am I happy about it. We needed that. Oof. I'm, I'm gassed. Come on, boys. There you go. Fifth win of the season for Ferrari. And we take back top spot in the championship with 10 races to go. And if we can fix up our race for Hungaroring and the American Circuit of America to use the same track, who knows? We, we could be on here. But just bizarre circumstances there lead to that. And Daniel Ricciardo wins his third race of the season. Australian Anthem has played. Interview. We get this every time Daniel Ricciardo wins a race. Everyone's here was just celebrating. Fantastic win. At the end of the day, we didn't cheat. So, incident heavy. I feel like it wasn't that incident heavy. But just admire that, lads. Whew. Top of the championship with the most wins out of anyone. We're the only one with a second driver win, which is beautiful. Leclerc's basically second driver. But he has actually been decent this season. He had a good recovery race just then. Fair play to the lad. It was decent. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that intense race there. A bit of a surprise ending. I'm happy with that. Mercedes fought a third in the championship, which is great to see. Their dominance is coming to a point where they have to cheat to win. So... They should have been completely disqualified. The Leclerc should have a podium, the poor bugger. But oh well. Bottas got four places. Lewis Hamilton got two. So I don't know how they worked that out. But anyway. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Um, thank you for watching to this now. If you're watching now, you're an absolute champion. And subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.